This is Blue Lives Matter. Um, sitting in a secret location, away from Via, where a short while ago I uh, had a run in with a couple of dirty Via police officers. This is the audio from my body cam. Blue Lives Matter here, watching some videos. Got a couple officers coming down here. How you guys doing? Who are you? Who are you? Okay, well, can you come over and identify yourself? If you're going to give me commands. Ma'am, are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? This is a public road. This is not private property. Ma'am, please call your supervisor. Are you going to contact your supervisor? And I don't have to move. Ma'am, you're the one being difficult here. I'm not being difficult. You have no cause to ask me to move my vehicle. I'm not arguing with you either. I asked you to contact your supervisor. Now sit here and tell me I'm parked on private property, on a public road in front of a parking meter. Time for you to contact your supervisor. Well, that's why I lit up my body cam as soon as she started coming over here. Those stupid cops. It's just, like, irritating. She's over here telling me, oh, well, you're on private property. You can't be here. Can't you see the sign saying private property? You can't park here. My wrong answer. So, there she goes. I told her to contact her supervisor. I'll wait here until the supervisor arrives. Part of these stupid transit cops coming over here and getting out of line and saying inappropriate, stupid stuff. So, getting out of my... So, at this point, I had started my live feed uh, because it looked like, you know, she's like, oh, you know, we'll cite you or whatever else. And she's reaching for handcuffs, acting all tough. So I started my live feed. Um, but basically, the audio there, if you didn't hear, she walks up and says, Sir, you, you can't be there. You're on private property. And I'm like, are you out of your mind? I mean, really, where do these cops, how do they figure this crap? Um, you know, after I talked to Corporal Perez, um, I decided to leave the area. But that... A long time after that, uh, I waited there for the supervisor for a while. Then I called dispatch. Then I spoke with Corporal Perez. And I spoke with him for a long, long time on the phone. We talked about all kinds of things, including uh, the requirements to uh, tow off of private property. The signage requirements for that. But, uh, again, my, my complaint was against the officer who refused ID. He gave me her name. Um... Uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, as I left, she came out and gave me a dirty look. And I gave her the bird and I said, addressed her by her name, Officer Knowles, or I believe that's her name. I'll have to listen to the, the recording with Corporal Perez. But uh, gave her the bird and told her I don't like being lied to. And she needed to talk to Corporal Perez and she could go fuck herself. Because again... When dirty cops lie to you and try to intimidate you, they get no respect. They deserve no respect. They need to be called out immediately. They need to be told to contact their supervisor. And if any reason that stupid cop thinks that a 
Public road is private property. She needs to be educated immediately. She needs to stop that. And if she goes, oh, I knew that. I just wanted him to leave because I didn't like him being there. Well, again, then what she's doing at that point, if she didn't believe what she was telling me, then she's denying me right to be where I'm lawfully at, under threat, in her position. It's 3903, and she needs to be charged with the crime. Dirty pigs.